Hello, awesome people who cannot sit at home. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I want to talk to you about my absolute favorite 12 places to visit in Ontario in the fall. Ontario is gorgeous in the fall. It's one of my favorite seasons. All of the places that I'm going to talk about in this video are either farms that are open for a specific time in the fall or gorgeous places where there's really beautiful foliage, really beautiful trees that you can go and walk around. And before we head right into it, I, you know, you know, I got to talk to you about my, this one is specifically fall, winter road trip journal. So it has 12 full day trip itineraries. It also has 36 one location trips. These are divided into fall and winter. There are also 20 unique food places and there are also 10 games. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now the first really cool fall location is Downey's Farm Market. This is located in Caledon, slightly more north than Brampton, not far from Toronto, about, I'd say, an hour, hour and a half, depending on the traffic. And the thing about it is that they have this sea of pumpkins. So even if you don't want to go inside, just going there to see that sea of pumpkins and taking the photo with your family or with your uh, significant other is so much fun. But here we got some hot dogs while waiting in line. Uh, this is also before entering and you can have the condiments as a cow's, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty hilarious. Now over here we're finally inside. It actually didn't take us that long, but there was a bit of a lineup. So over here, we're checking out some adorable animals. That's one of the reasons why we're here. So in terms of getting in here, you do need to pre-book because this gets really busy in the, you know, like the main fall times. And uh, it's best to pre-book about a week in advance these tickets. I want to say they're about somewhere $30, $40, something, uh, somewhere in there. But in my opinion, there's so much to do, so much to see that I highly suggest going here. So they have this cool kids climbing thing. They have a zip line. They have a corn maze. For the last two years, actually, I've been going here and I've been going there before. And I actually don't have kids, but, but I still have so much fun. Over there, the skeleton band is hilarious. This hamster wheel, it's just fun. <laughs> uh, there's also a mini pod. So all of these things are included in admission. And over here, there's just ginormous trampolines. You, uh, If you're an adult, you can do this too. So much fun. It's a whole day experience. And at the end, you can also get some amazing pumpkins over there. Number two is another, I love this farm so much, Carl Laidlaw Orchards. So these guys, there are two times that you should go here. So first for the apples, which is sort of early September or mid-September, they have a bunch of different apples. There is this adorable hut with coffee and cider. There's a number of couches to take photos in. Uh, last September, they even had still sunflowers. Such an amazing experience when it's the apple picking time. They even have a river. You can go for a hike near a river and there are wagon hay rides. All of this is included in the price of the admission. I don't remember the admission last year. It wasn't very expensive. And uh, you can also get hot dog and fry the hot dog yourself. Now, another time that you have to go to Carl Laidlaw Orchards is the Halloweenish time when they have the pumpkins. They become so stylish. They have these like gothic -y, cool displays, the couches, the pumpkins, again, that coffee place. It's just so much fun. You have to have to go. It's like the most stylish in the fall in the whole of Ontario. You will love it. Number three is Laura's Farm Stand, another one of my favorites. Been going there for a fairly long time actually it's been probably five years or more this is about an hour north of toronto it's kind of on the way to Barrie. they each year they do something cool and something new because they're expanding but my favorite thing about them is before you go inside the farm they just kind of have tons of pumpkins that they grew during the year there this this farm has the most variety of pumpkins you want to see or buy different cool weird pumpkins you have to go here uh, no other farm in Ontario has this much variety. Absolutely love them. They also have corn and you can also go inside of the farm for an extra fee. And inside the farm, I think you do some flower picking. Uh, there's, I think, more kind of stations to take photos of. 
it's just an amazing amazing farm but all of what i'm showing you right now that's actually before you go inside so this i did not pay i just went in and we got a bunch of pumpkins over here i'm showing you all of the grossest pumpkins and gourds they have i love this farm i go every year and i will keep going every year they're also very active on instagram for all of the dates so follow them because that will tell you when they're open what they have and all of the things Okay, number four is Berry Hill Farms. This is in Berry, so it's about an hour and a half, sometimes two hours because of the traffic, of course, and very close to Berry. They have a nice cafe, by the way, in there, and uh, it's actually, when you park, it's very similar to Laura's Farm Stand. They have just insane amount of pumpkins. I would say they have a bit less than Laura's Farm Stand, but they're still really, really cool, unusual pumpkins. I actually saw more of the larger scale pumpkins here versus Laura's Farm Stand. So if you are in the market for larger pumpkins I would go here now they also have like a tractor you can take pictures of you can just take photos right next to whatever stations they have all of this is just you know display and for free this is like sort of like their market similar again to Laura's farm stand these beautiful white uh, pumpkins were so unique I actually never seen that so they definitely have very unique pumpkins now if you want to go inside you do so they have this thing called a uh, promise to pick because I think you pay seven dollars I may it might go up this year um, and they take you there and you pick your own pumpkins but you need to get that seven dollar amount that's how they work next amazing amazing place in the fall again been going there for years is Unionville uh, it's Markham it's I don't know 40 minutes from downtown Toronto and it's just a really beautiful area they have train tracks. They actually have tons of kind of wedding and engagement photography happening in this area all the time. So it's very common that when you're there, you will see uh, engagement photo shoots or wedding photo shoots. In the fall, they decorate everything. Like look at this little gazebo. They decorated it all in fall. The, the, whole, the whole village is fairly tiny, very pretty. Over here we are at the Two Good Pond. So yes, this is a pond that's called Two Good Pond. And you can go around it. It's gorgeous. It, it will take you about an hour to go around it. Uh, Sweetie Pie is a place where you can get some sweets. They have definitely lots of cool cookies. They also have a number of gorgeous stores with different... Uh, I mean, over here we're at the jewelry store and like they have socks that are bedazzled. Uh, just cute little shops. They have the crocodile over there where, where you can paint something ceramic and fry it up and glaze it. Just really cool experience. I also loved this witch. This was at the very beginning when you enter the main street of Unionville. Uh, just so cool how she was just floating in the air. And over here, these are the colors that you will see. So many beautiful, beautiful maple trees. Number six is the big shoot. Now, this is located pretty far. This is in Muskoka, I would say. Give it about an hour and a half to two hours to get there. And uh, But this is for like the whole day trip kind of thing. Parking is over there where I'm circling. Uh, and the main chute is over here. So this is one of a kind, um, I guess, boat transfer. I, I don't know how to explain it. I will show you in a second how it looks like. But the scenery of it, like it's just this quintessential Muskoka, yet lots of rocks and lots of trees. Parking is free. To get go there is free. This is not a um, like a park or anything. It's just an experience in my opinion. Also been going here, gosh, probably for like close to 20 years. So here is this shoot structure. This is, it takes boats in and it takes them from that side of the uh, lake to the other side of the lake. There are two different lakes. So just seeing them do this is fascinating. There are always people there checking it out, doing videos. Uh, I think, I think it goes fairly often in the fall, but of course it stops once it hits closer to the winter time. We actually bought this table, this uh, foldable table, and we had a bunch of chairs, and we had a bunch of snacks, and we just sat there and watched the chute transport the boats back and forth. 
Now the next one is also very close. This is Muskoka Lakes Farm and Winery. They are about uh, half an hour from the big shoot, so about two hours or maybe more from Toronto. The whole experience here is the cranberry fields. I'm going to be honest, I've never done this. Not because I don't want to, but because the schedule never worked out for me. I don't know why. But you need to book this very, very far in advance. And unfortunately, my fall is always, or fortunately, is always so busy. I cannot really book this two weeks, three weeks in advance. So I never experienced this. But when we were coming up to it, you can see a bunch of fields. So, uh, and you can see the cranberries right in there. The experience is, is that you pay a certain amount of money, you show up, they give you these huge boots that go up to your pretty much waist, and you go inside this field of red, and you kind of stand inside the cranberry pond, and you take photos, and um, I mean, you can also do a whole, I think, like a tour around the farm, and you can sample different cranberries and things like that in the store. It's just so much fun. Um, it just looks so much fun, definitely an experience to do when you're in Ontario. And if you have done this, let me know how it is. Uh, but by the photos and videos, I know it's an amazing experience. And you, over here inside the store, so this is Johnson's Cranberries, you can actually sample some of them, like literally in the store. And you can, of course, buy from the store more cranberries. Number eight is the Higher Ground Cafe. So this whole area is called Bell Fountain and we end up at the cafe all the time just something about that cafe insane amount of people i have to say parking is very hard to find show up early show up for like 10 o'clock or earlier the cafe is amazing actually beautiful beautiful coffees beautiful uh, baked goods across from it there's a bell fountain cafe like literally across from it another very cool vintage looking great scones place over here i'm kind of showing you they also sell like different just items, artsy things, just, just yeah, uh, home decor type of things, very adorable. Those two places, like, we can spend good hour, two hours just kind of chilling around those places, having coffees, and there are lots of people there, there are lots of bikers, uh, I think it's like a spot for them, there's like groups of bikers coming in and parking, very cool place. But the reason why we also go here all the time is that the road that kind of comes up to it, it's called it's called Forks of the Credit Road. Over here I'm going to show you. So over here I'm showing you where the cafes are. The Bell Fountain Cafe and the Higher Ground Cafe. Forks of the Credit Road over here, it's kind of windy. And if you can see over here, I'm just kind of tracing it for you. This is the road you want to take if you want to see the most gorgeous fall foliage. I'm going to actually take a um, our Google map, Google map man over here. Because, of course, when I drive, I never really take a video of this because I'm driving. But imagine this road in the fall when everything is yellow and red. It's breathtaking. I mean, you don't even need to do the coffee shops. We love the coffee shops. It's like part of the experience. But just taking this road in the fall time when the foliage is happening, oh, you have to do it. Amazing. So number nine, it's in the area two. Is, it's sort of in the same area too. Is Alton Mill Arts Center. It's probably about half, a, half an hour away from when, where we were in the Bell Fountain just now. Uh, again, it's amazingly gorgeous. So many beautiful colors. Free parking. You can go into the Arts Center for free. I actually don't have the footage of the Arts Center. Uh, but do go in it. It's amazing. There are a bunch of artworks around it. There's a pond. You can literally do a circle around the art center. And when you kind of go behind the art center, you will see this dam of, you know, water. It is so beautiful. Imagine living in that house. Wow, you have your own waterfall pretty much. So beautiful. Totally free to just check it out. Actually, this place is also gorgeous in the winter. When everything freezes up and like some of the water doesn't freeze, it's you have to go here in the winter as well. And there's a bit of a river and yeah, just insane amount of uh, leafage. There's a bit of a hiking path. If you go slightly like you will see there's a forest right next to it. Beautiful place. And the next one is Illumi Toronto. So this is not a permanent, but I think they're going to be there. They were there last year. It's an exhibit and they are going to be there this year. So we did the Halloween at Illumi. Uh, I did get invited, but it was so much fun that I want to recommend it one more time. Genuinely really love this. Just look at all of the 
glowy things. Uh, there are so many stations. I think there's about, I don't know, like six different big areas. You walk through it. The price is not expensive. I think it's something a lot, around $20. They also have, they, they sort of have all seasons, but of course in the fall they'll do more fall, but they also have a bit of a um, Christmas stuff too. And they also have a whole section for the Halloween. Not very scary, but really beautiful. Perfect for kids, perfect for couples, perfect for anybody really. The next place that's absolutely gorgeous in the fall, free to enter, free to park, is Spadina Museum. Spadina Museum is called that, but it's not really a museum, it's kind of like an area. You could go inside, by the way, but I am talking about the outside, just look at all that foliage. And the, they have a garden over there, beautiful, beautiful foliage. They have these ginormous chestnuts. And another thing is Spadina Museum is right across from Casa Loma. Casa Loma is also gorgeous, of course, they put like a bunch of pumpkins, and that whole area is beautiful. And the last, but definitely not the least, is the Rattlesnake Conservation Area. For this area, you do need to pre-book. Do not show up there just as is. You need to pre-book. Over here, I'm showing you Crawford Lake. It's basically another beautiful spot. If you can hike from Rattlesnake Point uh, area to the Crawford Lake, you have to do it. It's gorgeous lake. This is right by the parking, these gorgeous cliffs. Beautiful. I definitely love the look of it and this is only about an hour and a half from Toronto so not that far but it's already kind of very different looking and the views the path goes along this kind of ledge this cliff and the views are breathtaking this is this was in spring but I know because I've been here in the fall that it looks beautiful in the fall with all of those views of different trees and different colors uh, as you hike towards Crawford Lake, which will take you a very long time, take a whole day for this. If you do want to hike to Crawford Lake, you don't need to, but it is a very beautiful lake. They have some artworks, and here is the lake. Again, this was in like early spring, and they have boardwalks all around that lake. So gorgeous. Also, of course, of course, very beautiful in the fall time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you love in the fall time in Ontario, make sure to write it down below. I would love to check it out. And of course, give me your feedback. Let me know if you like these places. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.